You will be aware, because this is now the third day we've covered it, and I hope you are, but you won't read it anywhere else in mainstream media, um, a group called Stop Co-Governance, set up by a guy called Julian Batchelor, is planning to have a series of public meetings around the country. They hope to have 30 of them. Um, and clearly, as their name suggests, they are opposed to co-governance, a policy which is greatly controversial and uh, has been debated and mentioned by the main political parties, a current political issue in our open democracy. And as the story goes, and I'll just re uh, recap it quickly for you, um, the group Stop Co-Governance tried to hire a public venue being a Sport Northland venue or speaking room for a public meeting. And they were turned down by Sport Northland on the grounds of the content of what they wanted to discuss because Sport Northland was co-governed and was into Tiriti partnership. Sport Northland is, of course, funded by public monies and as such uh, um, probably has an obligation to be fair and unbiased in its dealings, in its commercial dealings, and indeed its, uh, its non-commercial dealings. There are, in fact, court precedents um, that uphold the right of people to hire public venues, and the Free Speech Union has got into this story and written lawyers' letters to Sport Northland, getting them to reconsider their position. Uh, yesterday, we had Craig Jepson, the Mayor of Kaipara, one of the uh, contributing local bodies to Sport Northland, who came out and said Sport Northland needed to reconsider. And today, we are joined by another mayor of a municipality or a local body that contributes to Sport Northland. His name is Vince Coccarello, and he is the mayor of Whangarei. Vince, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you, Sean. Thanks for having me. All right. Is this an issue you have been aware of for some time? Uh, Co-governance has been something which we, as a council, have... You know, when I campaigned, I campaigned no for no for code governance. My philosophy is we are one Northland, so we have a group of we have a vast number of people in Northland, and we have we are multicultural. So that's one of the big things I've campaigned on that we need to be moving away from the whole philosophy that we're a bicultural area, but we're actually a multicultural area. Okay, yet a public entity partly funded by the council that you head is engaging in cancel culture because some people want to openly discuss the issue of co-governance and the, the group unashamedly says we're going to. Yep. And my discussions with Sport Northland about that was the simple fact that they were they felt it, it didn't meet their requirements. Now, I did question them on that. and the When was this, Vince? When did you have this conversation uh, with them? Well, as soon as I actually saw it come out in social media, because I hadn't known, I did not know about it before then. I did not yep. know that the the group was going to hire the venue. But as soon as I saw it on social media, I did contact Sport Northern. I did have a chat to them, and they did say, uh, well, according to their criteria, it didn't quite meet. I did question them on that, and they did come back to me and said, look, we're going to be taking it to our board, our next board meeting, and we'll have a discussion about it at that point. When is so, the next board meeting, or has it been? I'm not too sure on that. I believe it's coming up. Okay. Um, but they're not going to change. And look, you've now got a liability that might fall on this publicly owned entity because we've got um, the Free Speech Union talking court action. And, and one of the big things you need to cover off, Sean, is that, you know, we've, Sport Northland does an amazing job for sport in the industry. Yep. Like, it does an amazing job for Northland. So this is something which... They haven't taken lightly as effective when the, the formal complaint has come about. You know, they've taken it quite seriously and now they're really looking at it and they're looking at, I, from what I understand, they're looking at whether uh, they are to reverse that or not, that decision that they made. Again, this is something that they need to deal with uh, as an organisation and they need to come very clear in that because they do have situations where they, at times they do have to stop people from, from using their venue, and that is when it's gang-related or things like that. Yeah, now, yeah. I, oh, I, I don't think any right-thinking New Zealander would criticise them for that. But, but this now but, comes down to uh, a, a ratepayer-funded organisation practising cancel culture. It's a freedom of speech issue more than anything else, Vince. Yeah, and, and, and the, you know... This is the thing. Co-governance is such a desire. 
divisive word and very negative. Mm. You know, as, as, a, as a council, we, we're, we're about multicultural. We're about trying to inc- be inclusive with everybody. And that's one thing that with Sport Northland, you know, when they try to run events, they try to make sure there's events specifically for people. When, when we have a group of Indians who want to have a cricket event, yeah. you know, we've, we've set up a cricket team for them. When we've got uh, uh, a group that wants to set up Wakarama, Sport Northland's out there promoting the Wakarama event. So it is, Sport Northland actually mul- deals with multicultures all the time. Yeah. And it's about keeping the partnership together with everybody. Yeah. So that's so yeah. from my oh, side I of guess, things. I guess, Vince, I, I, I think, understand, Vince, you're actually on the board of Sport Northland's Board of Trustees. Yes, that's correct. I, I got, as the mayor, I got uh, appointed as last month onto it. Okay. So that's I've got. The reason uh, I raised the concern. At the moment, we've got you uh, and we've got Craig Jepson saying no. Who are the other mayors who are on that board? No, there is no other mayors on that board. Yeah. Uh, as of last year, Sport Northland changed their mandate, so they removed the uh, elected bodies from the from their board, and they actually said we wanted to change it down to two board members and two from the elected bodies. So there's one was just myself, and there's they, which is from the Far North District Council. Okay, surely you can turn this boat around, Vince. Well, that's what we're in the process of doing. So we're having these discussions. And hopefully they all come to the same viewpoint that it's about making sure that Northland goes forward, not about uh, one particular viewpoint. Yeah. Do you think co-governance works in any context? In my personal view, Sean, no, I don't. And why is that? Because I've found that many times when you have co-governance, you then have a different points of view for leadership. So unless the leaders are very clearly aligned, it makes it very, very hard for the team below them to actually make clear, decisive decisions, especially when you have one leader who's going one direction and another leader who's going another mm-hmm. direction. It, for, the, for the team underneath them, it becomes very, very hard, very slow process. Now, one of the big things about Northland is, especially when you've got storms like this, we need to be able to answer things straight away, yeah. get on top of things straight away. With co-governance, that's not going to happen. All right, I hear. So that's why you need to have very clear leadership. Look, even amongst central government, we have one party which is leading. There's no co-governance yeah. there. Yeah, Vince, you got a brother who's a lawyer. <laughs> I've, I've got a cousin who's a judge. That's correct. A uh, cousin who's a judge. I think I know. I'm all right. That, I'm sorry. That was just a few. <laughs> Your personal, it's an unusual name, and uh, that was quite some years ago. Say good day to him for me. Um, Vince, thank you for engaging today. I would hope that without the taxpayer and the ratepayer funding a court action, this story is, uh, this decision is going to get overturned. But I think you are still left if you have read uh, Sport Northland's philosophy and its policy on to treaty and co governance. You've still got a massive problem there. So it's, these are things that are going to be discussed and gone through because, as I said, as I said they, this is the things of bringing back their board meeting, and I believe the board meeting is coming up. I just can't give the exact date on that, sorry. All right. Hey, Vince, thank you very much indeed. That's Vince Cockerello, the Mayor of Whangarei. So we got the Mayor of Whangarei and the Mayor of Kaipara saying to Sport Northland, you stuff this up. Uh, Sport Northland still won't appear on the programme to talk with us, but I think maybe... Maybe we'll get a change out of this. Um, Don't expect to see this on the 6 o'clock news, either of the 6 o'clock news or on RNZ today. It's one of those uncomfortable stories that doesn't run to their woke narrative.